What's good, Coach Colin Castell here with Shot Mechanics Basketball. And today, we're going to show you three reasons why your shot's probably broken and how to fix it. All right, so most of the time, players are just one or two small tweaks away from hitting a much higher percentage really, really quickly. So today, what I wanted to do is walk you through the three main keys that I see a lot of times players are doing wrong that make them miss more shots. And a lot of times, by just fixing one of these, you can see a big increase in your shooting percentage. So before we get started, I want to give you free access to my seven-day shooting challenge. This is seven days worth of workouts that are going to change the way you think about your training and probably increase your scoring average and your shooting in the first couple days that you do it. So all you got to do is click the button above or the link in the description and get free access to that. Now, when we're thinking about our jump shot, the very first thing that a lot of players mess up is the targeting, meaning that their eyes are up on the basket. If you think about it, your brain is almost like a supercomputer. And anytime you're getting ready to shoot or catching or moving, your brain has to make calculations as to where you are in relationship to the basket. So the number one thing you can do is really work on targeting early with your eyes up on the basket as soon as you possibly can. So if I'm catching a pass out here, instead of catching, turning, and then finding the hoop, Instead, I'm catching and my eyes are already up on target all the way. If you watch the best shooters in the world, guys in the NBA, guys that play overseas, even the best college players, most all the really, really good shooters, when they're catching their eyes, they're feeling the ball without having to look at it the whole time. Their eyes are on target. That way their brain can make those calculations. Because again, like any hand-eye coordination sport, the longer you aim at something, the more accurate it's gonna be. I like to think of it like if you're playing darts, right? If I was trying to throw darts at a dartboard, if I turn away from it, and then I snap back to the dartboard, it's gonna be really hard to hit that bullseye because I can only see it for a split second. And shooting is the exact same way. So really push yourself and try to get your eyes up on target as soon as you possibly can. All right, so the next thing I see a lot of players do, especially young players that can mess up their shot, is their head position. Now, a lot of people don't even think about their head position, but it can really kind of change the rest of your mechanics. And by that, I mean this. When you're getting ready to shoot, we don't want our head tilted way back just like this. I see a lot of times young players will tilt their head back so they can find the basket, but the problem with that is then it brings their set point back as well. So this is what I mean by that, is if my head is tilted back like this and I get ready to shoot, and if I bring it up by my forehead, now my elbow is pointing up towards the basket, right? I get an angle like this, it pulls the ball back and it actually becomes a flatter shot. But if my head's pretty straight and I'm coming up and I'm targeting through my eyebrows rather than tilting back, now when I bring it up, my elbow is down, just like this, and I'm gonna get more optimized arc on, your, on my shot. So what a lot of players that really, really helps them is if they film themselves shooting. shooting. If you can film yourself shooting on a smartphone or a video camera or whatever it is, a lot of times you'll see that if your head is tilting back like this, that means that the ball's coming back too far, your elbow's coming up, and your shot's gonna be too flat. Uh, getting worse arc and most of the time giving you a lower percentage on your jump shot because the flatter arc you have the smaller target the ball actually sees so the big key you might have heard me mention it before target through your eyebrows target through your eyebrows now what that means is instead of having my eyes in the center of my head and moving my head up to find the hoop instead now I'm keeping my head steady nice and straight but my eyes are going up through my eyebrows to target if you watch the best shooters in the world, most all of them, when they're getting ready to shoot, their head is down, just like this, and their eyes are up in their head. That way we can stay on balance, everything's gonna be perfect, everything's gonna be smooth, and then the rest of your mechanics are gonna fall into place if your head can stay in that perfect position. All right, so we talked about our targeting, and we talked about our head position, but now I wanna talk about your body space. And basically that just means the space between your body and the basketball as it's coming up into your shot. Now a lot of times young players are looking to get extra power. And so they end up bringing the ball really close to their body so they can roll it up and throw it up towards the basket. Now the issue with this is it's not a good way to get power because what ends up happening is the closer I bring the basketball to my body, the further my elbow is going to get pushed out most of the time. So you can kind of see that. If I'm facing towards the camera like this, if I push it out, you see as the ball comes back, my elbow has to go somewhere, especially if my hand's on the back of the ball. As I push it back, this elbow is naturally going to drift out. Now the elbow is one of the things that causes a lot of players to miss shots because if your elbow is out, everything's out of alignment, it's not gonna be straight towards the basket. So one simple, simple fix is to think about keeping the ball away from your body as you're bringing it up on your shot. So as I catch and I'm loading, you can see that as I come up, I'm keeping a pretty decent space between my chest and the basketball right here. So as I'm coming up, it's coming up just like this. That way I can get my elbow underneath, snap it all the way through the basket. So again, video works really, really well. Get a friend uh, film you on their phone, whatever it is. 
and see how much space you have in between your chest and the ball. If there's very little space, that probably means your elbow is getting flared out and you're gonna have some issues. Now, like everything with shooting, it's all kind of interconnected. So if you change one thing, it's gonna have a ripple effect through your body. So what I would recommend is number one, trying to tilt your feet a little bit. That's gonna help you get more space away from your body. And number two, try to keep it outside here by your knee to start. So as you're getting ready to shoot and you load it down, you're either gonna load it at your waist or just barely above your knee and that's gonna keep it away from your body. If you load it back here by your hip, it's gonna be a little tighter. You're gonna turn to that tight body space. So remember, try to keep a little space on your body, right? The more space you're gonna have coming up, generally the better, but you can get too far. We still wanna have nice flex in our elbow. You see some people kinda of go the opposite direction and they bring it up too far like this. But if you don't have a nice bend in your elbow, you're gonna to have to bend it and then snap it. And we don't want that. We don't want that last little kind of correction at the very, very end. So instead, check it, body space, but we're still getting about a 90 degree bend in our elbow right here. That when we come up through, we're snapping, everything's smooth, and you should be good to go. If this video helps you out, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, and then hit the comment section down below and let me know what sort of video you wanna see next. This is a channel for the people, by the people, and I run pretty much everything I have a request, so leave it down below and hopefully I'll get to it. And don't forget, if you're new to shot mechanics, you're gonna to wanna to get a free copy of my seven day shooting challenge. It's seven days worth of free workouts that's gonna turbocharge your jump shot and help you score more points almost immediately. People are loving it across of the world um, and it's really going to kind of revolutionize your training so you definitely want to check that out again i'm coach colin with shot mechanics basketball thanks for watching and until next time splash on